We are three young ladies moving to become young women, trying to find out how women are and what a woman like, so that we, become, we can become beautiful, more independent women. We expect that women are independent and that times have changed from before until now. At the end of our journey, we came to a conclusion that women are more independent, kind, beautiful, respectful, and respectable. What is the definition of a woman? There really isn't a true definition for a woman because women are all around beautiful. Women are supposed to act a certain way. I would consider a woman a person who has integrity, mm -hmm. who has strength, who's honest, who uh, is respectable and respectful, uh, who's loving and who's kind. And there are many of the women in Braddock that I find to be just that way. Women are still expected to be nice and kind and sweet and take care of everyone. Um, at the same time that they're strong and independent, maybe more athletic now than in the past too, but even women who are athletic are still supposed to be feminine, right? And still supposed to be pretty and, you know, have their hair look a certain way and their makeup look a certain way. Strong and elegant. <laughs> a child, raising them, they can be strong, independent, living on their own, you know. But yet we found out in today's economy, women do need a man in their household. They need two incomes if they have three or more children. Women need, women need a man for help with the children and for safety. Women say they don't need a man. Today's economy, I think that a woman does need a, a man. I have five daughters. And I don't want them to be dependent on no one, on no man. You know, I'm trying to raise them to be independent. But I, I, you know, to make a family whole, I feel that a woman does need a man in today's economy. You know, it does take two income. A man. So you actually need a man in that case uh, to have uh, children. There are also, I think, you look for security. You may, may need a man for security purposes. Um, a guy that can maybe even bring home the bacon to help <laughs> with uh, some of the, uh, maybe some of the bills that you probably uh, have gotten together on. Uh, maybe something that you maybe purchased together at home or car or just paying lighter gas. I think that goes hand in hand. In need hand. a man to validate who I am as a person in particular as a woman. Mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot of women that feel that they need that validation. There are a lot of women that feel that they're not loved if a man doesn't love them. A man, a man will, uh, listen, hold up. <laughs> Complete a woman, but if you don't have a man in your life, you still can be the woman that God called you to be. Women are kind and sweet. I was supposed to behave with confidence. Women have changed, but now the mothers in some households or the fathers and mothers of the house cooking, cleaning, talking, taking care of kids and working. What are men looking for? It's really created more work, not less, right? Because of what I was talking about before, that women still do all the work at home. And that's what they meant by the second shift was this idea that your job, that outside the home is your first shift, but then you come home in the evening and that's the second shift for women because now they have to make dinner, clean the house, take care of the kids, do all of those things. And some men help do that, but not all men and there's not always a man in the house anyway. Um, so in those times, women had more of, a, of the ability to, to be very cautious about their behavior and how they, um, how they presented themselves. There is a lack of that now. Women are not as discreet anymore. They're not as cautious as they used to be. And I think that that's something that should come back into play. We should all be discreet. We should be honest. We should be cautious about what we do uh, in, you know, in the general public. Women more independent today than back in, yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> no, no, things haven't changed much from yesteryear to this year. No, it hasn't changed much. Um, the, 
Okay. But the issue that I live in Braddock. Positive woman who is uh, willing to work and uh, help provide for the family. You know, not afraid to make decisions on her own. Someone that is willing to be independent. Someone that is someone that has the same interests. Someone that have possibly some uh, religious faith. Um, someone that you can communicate to, where you can exchange uh, some very, I guess you can say, delicate information. Women use their time to make their own money, to become better women, to take care of their kids, while their father isn't home to help her out. We call these works hair houses. Women do hair for other women so they can feel and become more beautiful. It's a gift that God has given me. So it's something that, that I was put here to do. It never changes how a woman feels about herself and what she wants to look like. You know, it might be in a different ear, different style or something, but styles, all they do is rotate. You know what I mean? It, 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 it comes right back. Whatever was in the 50s and 60s is coming back. You know what I mean? I love what I do. And I love making women look nice. You know. I-N-D-E-P-E-N-T Do you know what that mean, man? I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T Do you know what that mean? She got her own house. She got her own house.